Basm, thank you so much for meeting with us. It's so awesome to be able to sit down with such a big comedian. Oh, thank you guys. It's it's really nice to meet all of you. So you were essentially the Egyptian Jon Stewart, and then some scary shit went down, and you were forced to flee, and now you live in Los Angeles? Yeah, that's basically what happened. I heard that you were also a heart surgeon. Is that true? Yeah. A heart surgeon? That's incredible. Yeah. But I, I was a heart surgeon. I mean, I was a doctor, but, but not anymore, because in 2011, I left medicine, and I switched to comedy because it was the Arab Spring, and I started my show. Hang on. You're saying you gave up an impressive career in medicine to do comedy? Like how we do comedy? Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I did. Shit. How much do you regret that? Uh, oh, no, no, no. I, I don't regret that. I mean, as a matter of fact, I had a very successful career in comedy. I had a huge show. I had 30 million people watching me every Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know all that, but you were doing something that you could be proud of before that. You were saving lives. Well, in a way, comedy still allows us to save lives. Bullshit. Yeah. Come on. Bullshit. You know that's bullshit. Watch this. Brandon! Yeah? You ever saved a life? Uh, no, I never even came close. You ever wanted to save a life? Every fucking day of my goddamn life. What man would choose to be a clown if he could be a hero? That was very morbid. When we end sketches with Katie shitting her pants, that's not saving anyone. Say what now? But you know, you know, we're not literally saving lives, but comedy is an incredible tool to spread messages to the world. Change. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys all hate comedy? It doesn't matter. It is our only option. It's literally the only thing we're good at. And we're not even that good at this. Smosh has more subscribers than us. Smosh! 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 Smosh? Smosh? What the fuck is Smosh? Exactly. Right! Exactly! Look, man, I'm gonna be real with you. You fucked up. You gave up something that was good to do something that a bunch of us idiots can do. Comedians are not idiots! Oh, barf. We are doing this because we are sad and we are dumb. We are not doing this because we are artists and deep thinkers. I tell people that I didn't read the Harry Potter books because I don't like nerd shit. I don't understand them. They go over my head. And sometimes I'm too sad to even come into work. I stay in bed all day and tweet one dumb thing and that has spelling errors. All right. What would you guys rather do? You name it. Flight attendant, I would make soldier, light bulbs, have a surgeon, light restaurant, general somewhere. electric. I could make a car. Flower I could garden make a car. Sure. I could do uh, a car. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, guys, guys. You, you could be any of those things. You could be anything you want. Are you just a huge dumbass? Are Is that you what's seem like here? a big old Because you're not listening to Use your brain. You sad. You sad. If you three were a little bit less self-obsessed, you would see how fortunate you are. You guys get to make people laugh for a living. Many people would love to be in your place doing what you do. He's right. Did you just shit your pants? I did. Um, sorry, I should probably go take care of this. Oh! I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, you're a doctor. Get over it. Was a doctor. Hi, it's Katie Mirovich from College Humor. If you want to subscribe, click over here. And for more fun stuff, click over here. And if you want access to College Humor's secret site, make sure you send your social security number, your credit card information, and your mother's maiden name in a private message to me.